In this episode of OS First Timer, Dinah will experience the history of chatbots by speaking to Eliza, a psychotherapist chatbot from 1966, Raptor, a strange AI chatbot from 1984, and the well-known Cleverbot from 2008. Are these chatbots actually clever, or will Dinah need to speak to a real psychotherapist after chatting with them? Keep watching to find out. So before we start off with some very old chatbots, let's take a look at Google's new AI codenamed Duplex, shown off at Google I.O. 2018, that is able to make phone calls for you using a realistic human-like voice that can book appointments, make reservations and so on. So as you'll hear, it sounds amazingly lifelike. Let's say you want to ask Google to make you a haircut appointment on Tuesday between 10 and noon. What happens so that's like Siri. is the Google Assistant makes the call seamlessly in the background for you. So what you're going to hear is the Google Assistant actually calling a real salon to schedule the appointment for you. I think I Let's need listen. to say no problem. <laughs> <laughs> How can I help you? Hi, I'm calling to book a woman's haircut for a client. Um, I'm looking for something on May 3rd. Um, sure. See how realistic it is? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so sure. What time are you looking for around? But I'm professional. At 12 p.m. We do not have a 12 p.m. available. The closest we have to that is a 1.15. Do you have anything between 10 a.m. and uh, 12 p.m.? Depending on what service she would like, what voice, service right? like is she looking for? And 12 p.m. Like Just a woman's haircut for now? It's not, but okay, we it have knows the information. I don't think the other person knows. Okay, no. what's her first name? That person doesn't know. The first name is Lisa. Okay, perfect. So I will see Lisa at 10 o'clock on May 3rd. Okay, great. Thanks. Great. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs> Have a great day. And she has no <laughs> idea she's speaking to a robot. So basically, yeah, that was at Google <laughs> I.O. Now, it's pretty amazing how it works using mm. the natural voice and with the inclusion of pauses, ums and mhms Yeah, well, it's stuff. kind of unprofessional. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, in the next mm -hmm. couple of weeks, Google's actually going to be rolling out this technology for public testing to a small range of trusted users and businesses. So, you know, if, if you're a business out there and you get a phone call, you might, might not actually be a real human speaking to you anymore. So it's going to be a little bit odd, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Anyway, it's now time to go back to a very early chatbot known as Eliza. Now, Eliza was made from 1964 to 1966 and was able to be interacted with via a teletype machine. Now, Eliza simulates a psychotherapist or counsellor, but it's not actually meant to be used for serious purposes. It was created to demonstrate the superficiality of communications between humans and machines. Eliza basically simulated conversation using a pattern matching and substitution methodology that gave users an illusion of understanding on the part of the program, but it had no built-in framework for contextualising events. So, you are now going to speak to Eliza using a DOS port of the original Eliza from 1966. Now, as it's very easy to confuse this program and expose the fact that it's not actually human, I want you to attempt to now have a real conversation with this chatbot, pretending that you're an office worker that is experiencing a lot of stress. <laughs> personal okay? therapy computer. Yeah. So here we go. <laughs> Hi, I'm Eliza. I'm your personal therapy computer. Please tell me your problem. Life in general. Say, do you have any psychological problems? Not that I know of. That's why I'm here talking to you. Bit complicated for Eliza. To... Well, I'm really testing her out. Let's see how she deals with that. Did you come to me because you were here talking to I to see if you have a problem? You're confusing her now. You've got to keep your thing simple. Let's keep it simple. I'm not we confusing her. She just has bad grammar. Did you come to me because you are here talking to I to see if you have a problem? Well, yes, I'm here talking to you to see if I have a problem. No, no, no. So, yes. Yes, are you sure? You love the are you sure, <laughs> don't you? Now... It's, that's probably where it first began. <laughs> are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure you want to close this program? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> I'm testing her. Why are you interested in whether or not I am sure? That's a pretty good response. That that would have me... For, that's a real psychiatrist response, actually. <laughs> now, what you notice about this, though, is if you try to get her out and you speak in big, complicated sentences, she's going to completely mess up. Yeah. Let's just see what she looks like when you speak to her very simply, keeping it very simple. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, no, try not to use commas and apostrophes and that kind of thing. Keep it simple. Keep your responses to about five okay. or six words. Okay. So keep it really simple. So let's reset this. You're a stressed out office worker and you're about to have a little psychiatrist session. So here we go. Hi, I'm Eliza. I'm your personal therapy computer. Please tell me your problem. Now let's I really try would and... have a problem if I was going to a computer <laughs> for psychiatric help. So yes, I am stressed out at work. An exclamation. Did you come to me because you were stressed out at work? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Why did you repeat yourself? Because you repeated the question. We were discussing you, not me. I'm already, I, think I don't I'm think already... I want to discuss anything with this person. <laughs> They're very frustrating. Well, it, the, what it actually was is they were trying to kind of make Eliza a bit of a mockery of psychologists too. Like, it, certainly is. You know, Cer certainly sounds as if I'm talking to one. They're trying to screw with my head. <laughs> and try and get you locked up. Yes. <laughs> I am stressed out at work. How long have you been stressed out at work? Since about... Two minutes ago? <laughs> Talking to you! <laughs> Say, do you have any psychological problems? No! <laughs> Are you saying no just to be negative? But that's a positive thing, not having any... You're a person and... Do you have any problems? No, I don't have any problems, no. And they're saying, you're saying that just to be negative, you feel you don't I'll just say here. no. Do you expect a different answer by repeating yourself? No, I'm just answering the second question. It happens to be <laughs> the same answer, but for a second question. They're trying to make me go mad. <laughs> <laughs> then you really will need one. I then really will need one, but not a, ro a robot, a real psychologist. <laughs> okay, get going with Eliza. Yes. I see. I see. <laughs> <laughs> what do you see? Well, maybe oh, I should just... see. Maybe I should have just congratulated her because she can see, because that's a pretty good <laughs> thing for a robot to be able to see. I understand. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> what does that suggest to you? I am trying to make you feel better. Do you believe it is normal to be trying to make I feel better? Maybe instead... No, no, I you spelled need, maybe wrong. Maybe instead I need to give you grammar. No, you spelled you wrong and grammar wrong. <laughs> You say you, maybe I, instead I need to give you grammar. Give gram you, you can't grammar even spell correctly. Less lesions. <laughs> <laughs> I will in a minute give her lesions. She's a, she's to drive a psychologist, me not a doctor. <laughs> lessons. You're not really talking about me, are you? Actually, I am. Do you enjoy being actually you are? <laughs> You're being actually you are. I haven't really thought. I haven't. Oh, I see. I, I, <laughs> I, I was going to say I haven't really thought about yeah, it. I see. Maybe you can ask if you can leave now. Let's let's wrap this up. I feel much better now that you have cured me. Tell me more about such feelings. Obviously, she just wants to extend the session to get more money out of you. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> she learnt that off a real psychiatrist. <laughs> Maybe just say you feel happy. Let's let's try and wrap this up. Tell me more about such feelings. I feel happy. I keep it simple. Happy now. Did you come to me because you are happy now? I'm happy as a result of. If I did come to her because I was happy, I mean, that proves there is something wrong with me. I'm happy as a result of seeing you. How long have you been happy as a result of seeing me? <laughs> About a minute. <laughs> See, it goes in circles. I'm not sure I understand you fully. 60 seconds. Because she obviously doesn't understand no, what a minute, minute is. is. Come, come, elucidate your thoughts. Do you want me to fall asleep on the couch in front of you? <laughs> anyway, let's... Um... I'll just say, shall I fall asleep? She, she's, she kind of, what you notice about Eliza, can you elaborate on that? She just kind of gets you to talk, not really understanding what you're saying. <laughs> what? I'm doing snoring. That is she's quite saying... interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, it would be for a okay. computer because they can't sleep. <laughs> okay. Well, um, that is it with Eliza. I could have fun with this. You yeah. are interesting. What makes you think I am interesting? That this makes... whole conversation. Why do you ask? Now, anyway, that's it. That's I'm not it. asking. Just, I'm, I'm telling. I'm typing now. Goodbye. No! Yeah, she thinks you have problems <laughs> now. And you do. You are being a bit negative. No, I'm <laughs> not.
Do you believe it is normal to be not? Well, Shakespeare does. It's to be or not to be. <laughs> okay, bye. Goodbye. Quit. Good. She's gone. That's the only word she understands is quit. She's probably going to quit after that conversation with us. She probably will. So there we go. You just spoke to Eliza. You'll notice she just kind of takes bits and keywords of what you're saying. Just kind of almost spits it back out at you, trying to get you to analyse your own thoughts and stuff. Mm. She's... It's just very superficial. You see, she didn't know what she was talking about. So what we're going to try next is Raptor. So this is the Mac version of Raptor from 1985. The DOS version came out in 1984. Now, Raptor is basically an artificial intelligence program that generates English language prose at random. So this chatbot is more open to general discussion rather than being purpose-built to only book appointments and make reservations like Google Duplexes mm -hmm. or only be your annoying therapist like Eliza. So as you can see, this is more of an open discussion what you're about mm -hmm. to do now. You're going to be able to ask it any questions. Before it was basically you seeing a therapist. And, and becoming saying, worse. Yeah. <laughs> worse off in the end. And it's trying to ask you your problems and stuff, but not really giving you much response. Raptor and, you know, Google Duplex is a bit like that in a way. It's purpose built for one thing, making appointments, mm. okay, making reservations. This, on the other hand, tries to be open. You can be like, oh, how many people are in the world? Or, mm. you know, you can ask it Will questions. It know? Is it like, oh, it'll just search on Google? Well, it Would couldn't because this was 1980. 1985 wow, would be trying now, but technically Let's see how clever it is. So this is 18 years more clever than Eliza. Yeah. Now, in 1983, a book was written entirely from an early unreleased version of this program. Mm -hmm. The book was titled The Policeman's Beard is Half Constructed, and apparently the book was published unedited, so it might be something to take a look into one day because basically it was a book made by Raptor. A computer wrote a whole book. Mm. The policeman's beard is half constructed. That's what the computer decided to title the book. Very dumb. Who uses those words? He just has to grow it a little bit longer. Wait <laughs> a little bit longer and it'll be fully constructed. <laughs> you don't construct a beard. Anyway, moving on. Let's have a chat with Raptor. So you're going to notice this is more of something you can talk to and get responses okay. from rather than it just spitting back out what you're This will be interesting. Saying. You are... Me. I didn't get that. Who are you? You give it a real me. name. So what you've got to do is capital letter your first name. I know, but I just there wanted to muck around. There we are. Hello, Diana. I believe you're interviewing me. What would you like to know? Excuse me a minute while I attend to some business. I'll be right back. I'm back. That's really being silly. No, it's trying to be more realistic, though. <laughs> you know, more realistic. Like, you know... A it, computer... But it's like a computer. He's attended to some business, but because it's a computer, it's lightning fast, and then I'm back. I've done it. No. <laughs> but he didn't no. even bother needing to say that to me, really. Yeah, but the idea is make it feel more like a okay. real human. Like, I mean, if you're making an Aussie version of this, it might be, Good day, Diana. Excuse me while I put another shrimp on the barbie. I'll be right back, you I know? I would like to... To know when I am going to win Lotto. Ask a question, please. I You've got to did. put a question mark, oh. otherwise it doesn't know that it's a question. I would Just Lotto. so you know, this is not a psychic. What? What? It doesn't know. Lotto. A more realistic question. No, saying, can you rephrase that? It doesn't get what you mean. When will no, I win? It's not a psychic chatbot. Million dollars. I don't know when I will win a million dollars. I didn't ask whether you're going to win. I asked when am I going to win it. <laughs> it's in Friday. Oh, okay, cool. I don't know when I'll win a million dollars. That's Friday. in four days' time. Yeah, Friday. Anyway, one needn't abhor stupidity. Would you rather be a citizen or a liar? What is What kind of a response is that? Well, I mean, it's it. not stupidity wondering when you're going to win lotto or win a million dollars. Well, it is kind of stupid because you're asking a computer when you're going to win the lotto. I never know. It could be a psychic. <laughs> I mean, they're quantum, supposed to be smarter computer. and know everything. No, no, computers are actually one of the dumbest things in existence. They don't know anything. Oh, I think they I'd rather be, be a citizen. Okay, I'd rather. Well, out of the two choices, a, a liar or a, or a liar. citizen, I think. I'd Why? Because a liar is a bad thing. Either a liar is a bad thing, or I will win one million dollars. Wonderful sinners and atrocious saints should get along. I'm afraid of atrocious rattlesnakes. What are you afraid of? That is the weirdest response. I'm, I'm afraid of what response he's going to give next. <laughs> now, you notice Raptor is actually stringing together random words. He's trying to build conversation rather than pre-built things being said. You get what I mean? Okay, I'm afraid of what response you will give next. That's not nearly as bad as atrocious. Why are you such a coward? <laughs> you're scared of what a computer's going to say next. It's saying you're a coward because you're afraid of him. Yeah, but I'm being... 
the stupidity of what he's saying. <laughs> well, why are you such a coward? Because you made me a coward. If because me made you a coward, then I can see why a good Helen <laughs> Caldicott would frown rather than face what response you will give next, even though Hitler claimed that I will win a million dollars. By the way, Diana, what is your last name? I'm so taken back by all of, I'm still trying to absorb that whole conversation. <laughs> well, just now we've got Hitler name. winning a million dollars. <laughs> no, Hitler claimed that that computer will win one million dollars. Oh yeah, Hitler claimed... Wait a sec, Hitler died before this computer even existed. So that's a bit weird. Yeah, but maybe Hitler Maybe Hitler... Yeah, I was yeah, going to yeah, say, Hitler maybe Hitler's psychic. a psychic. But if but he was then a psychic, psychic then he would have lost. No, he lost the but war. maybe he's a psychic for other people, but not for himself. But wouldn't he, if he's psychic to other people, wouldn't he know that his other people would win the war that he was attempting to wage? Anyway, before we get off track, let's just answer it. Mm. Diana, what is your last name? Adam's there. Sounds vaguely familiar. Oh, it's a common name. It's <laughs> <laughs> a very common name. You don't have to be, um, you know, smart to know that. I wonder. This will break you up. Foulness, foulness. I'm crazy and loony and angry. If you gulp champagne, is that foulness? If you chew chicken or lettuce, is that foulness? Well, it depends no. if you're a veg vegetarian, <laughs> it, would, it would be foulness. No. no. Foulness is a conflict and an agreement. Champagne is champagne and lettuce is lettuce. Diana, that is an ambiguous... How about a story? Okay, tell me one. Who should the story be about? You. You sound like a very interesting person. Raptor cried. Oh, and, see, oh, and, and he is. And he's saying Raptor. <laughs> Raptor cried, the war is formidable. But oh, she's really, can I just say what? something? This is a really negative sort of role. He thinks about war. <laughs> he thinks about Hitler. He thinks about fame, foulness and stuff. I mean, couldn't he be a little bit more uplifting and positive? The war is formidable, but unfortunate, fascinating theoreticians will think about white mansions or yellow high bowlers. Hyper bowlers? What are hyper bowlers? I, I don't know what it, or yellow hyper bowlers. It simply was a station wagon and a war in a station wagon. <laughs> wagon is frightening! A war in a station wagon is frightening! Oh, it certainly is! <laughs> it's, it's strange! Okay, now, now, <laughs> now Healy and Raptor were walking to a blue house and a hound rambled to them. Raptor was angry, interesting, but Raptor was maddened while Healy gulped excellent silver. She and Raptor cried about their cottage, station wagon and phonograph. Next question. So what do you want to ask her? Maybe you wanted to know how many people are in the world. So you ask how many people are in the world? How many people are mark. in the world? Fairly many people. In our other world, very many people. Because it's about time, you know. It's about time, you know. Do you like sanity? <laughs> I'm so I do, but clearly you are insane. Say more. Now it feels like Eliza. Feels like it's reverted to a Yeah, lifer. yeah, yeah. Now I'm questioning its sanity, and now it thinks I'm the one that's insane. <laughs> yeah, it's like say more. It's, it's turning into a, a, a you know, a lie. Seems okay. like she's guilty. I admit I am insane. I just want to see what it's going to say. If I admit I are insane, then Mickey Mouse is a crummy lunatic, worse than Joseph Stalin. Mickey Mouse and I think politics is funny, don't you? Mickey Mouse had many good qualities, like sanity, but even Mickey Mouse was afraid of what response you will give next. Next question. So you can ask it something else. Do you like the Now Stalin, he's got Stalin. Now that was another person that was back in, you know, war times, that was very bad. I mean... This is awful. Let's let's bring this to an end. And now he's moment. talking about Mickey Mouse. <laughs> yeah. In the same sentence, sentence as Joseph Stalin. <laughs> well, let's do next question now. And this will be the last question. What just one more question you're interested in asking it? I don't know. My mind is just going round. I feel like I need to see a real Eliza. <laughs> yeah. A proper one. <laughs> Probably you speak to Raptor, then you need to see Eliza. <laughs> then you're even worse. <laughs> then, you just... then may as well just jump off a bridge <laughs> at the end of it. Let's continue. How okay. old are you? Too old. Let me think. Can I just say, too old? That's that's a response you'd get from an old person. Yeah, too old. Let me think. In Oz, they believe it's because the law requires that I am very old, and my wires are down. Have you heard about Newton? Yes. What did you hear? <laughs> you should have said yes. Because if you said no, it would have told you. But because you said yes, now you've got to tell it. Actually, you tell me. 
I bet you haven't heard this. Newton, along with other genius, kidnapped a Noah, but then Bugsy Seigal kidnapped Newton, so naturally Newton murdered Bugsy. Okay. Shocking, isn't it? But that's how geniuses are. Falsehood is okay. I'm sane. What would you consider one of your good qualities? Anyway, let's finish it up now. That was Raptor. Yeah. Okay, so goodbye. Name another. <laughs> Name another. <laughs> See you later. Any others? <laughs> Adios. I think you're happy. Would you say you were happy? Oh no, this is like Eliza. He remembers Eliza. Well, George Washington insisted you were happy. So really? there. Really? Did he? <laughs> but how could a happy citizen like you be afraid of what response you'll give next? Next question. So anyway, that's it. I am finished. Yes. There we go. That was Raptor. What do you think? Raptor versus Eliza. Who would you rather chat to if you had to sit in a room and your whole entertainment Well, this is go? a bit more entertaining. Because Eliza it just, comes up with really It comes up with stuff. stuff. It basically just generates It's a little bit more words. entertaining. Yeah, it's kind Eliza's of, it's a bit good. frustrating. Eliza just sits out and you say something. Eliza says, tell it's me more about that. Yeah. It, it always wants you to say things, but it tells you stuff mm. that doesn't make sense. And mm. it wrote its own book too. Mm. Um, anyway, moving on to 2008. Okay. Okay, finally you're going to be trying out Cleverbot, which is an online chatbot that currently talks to around 80,000 people at once. This project has gone through many different variants and forms, started as hard-coded in 1981, to a learning AI project founded as Thoughts in 1988, to being launched on the internet as Jabberwacky in 1997, Jabberwacky won some prizes in the mid-2000s, and in 2008 a new more fuzzy variant called Cleverbot was released with deeper context. So Cleverbot learns more and more about how to respond to questions and conversations conversations the more people it talks to. However, if the people it is talking to speak to it poorly, it will also learn to speak less intelligently. It's 2018 now, but it was first launched as Cleverbot in 2008. Okay, it actually says, I'm actually intrigued, it says, please note, Cleverbot learns from people. Things it says may seem inappropriate, use with discretion and at your own risk. And here, parental advice, whatever it says, visitors never talk to a human. The AI knows many topics used only with oversight. Yeah, so what you're about to do now, think you've just tried out a chatbot from the 60s, mm. you've tried out one from the 80s, you've seen Google's, you know, what they're coming up with, but that's a very strict, that kind of like Eliza. This is going to be a little bit more like what you just tried out before Raptor, in right. the fact it's more open. You, It's a general conversation, it doesn't have a purpose, it doesn't have a, I will book an appointment yeah, for you yeah, purpose, or it's not like Siri that's like, hey Siri, yeah. remind me at 6am to wake up or something like that. You actually, or take the dog out, you know what I mean? It's a general conversation. It is like a real person that you're talking to now, yep. but it's not a real person. It's a bunch of people's conversations that it's analysed. So it kind of built itself, Cleverbot. So try and have a normal conversation with it. Pretend it's a friend that you just want to chat to. Okay. So here we go, Cleverbot. Say to Cleverbot. Oh. <laughs> What's that? Because I said, hey Siri, look. Hey Siri, remind me you got all of that stuff I've just been saying. Don't let it remind <laughs> you. It's six o'clock's too early in the morning. <laughs> Hi Cleverbot, and I didn't put a capital C but it doesn't matter. How are you today? Fine. You? I guess. Oh, is something the matter? Ah! Yeah, I guess so. it. It sense in your yeah. voice. Yeah. No, voice. Uh, well, in Gee, your typing, in your speech. You can hear okay, me. I guess. Because if you just said okay, that's fine. Yeah. But I guess it's like, oh, is something the matter? No, I just used the wrong words. I don't believe you. <laughs> it's always sensing. It's like, I don't believe you. There's something wrong. There is something wrong. What is wrong? Okay. Uh, what could be wrong? Maybe maybe say something really funny. Okay, I've stolen something. Yeah, but what if they I stole send a it to from, the No, it won't. Okay, I stole a packet of chips from Target. <laughs> we use this all the time. This is just our famous line. Those are song lyrics. <laughs> Now they're so popular, they're all over the internet. I am about to renovate my kitchen. What? <laughs> Not that precise. Do you recommend? Not that precise. I don't know the Reapers. Nobody generally talks to Cleverbot asking about renovating. Well, it's supposed the to be clever. No, but it's not. It's clever in what it's been spoken to about. Nobody's ever said what you've just said. But it says that it learns from people. So maybe next time somebody asks it about a bench top, it might recommend something then. Well, if someone says, 
I recommend, you know, this bench top and stuff, then it'll learn to recommend that bench top. Anyway, <laughs> all these people are probably going to start going into this. What should I have for lunch? Whatever you like, I guess. Oh, uh, is something, like, yeah. wrong? <laughs> it's something is wrong? Is something wrong? Are you sad? <laughs> it's using the same thing you used. No, I just don't know a whole lot about you. Do you want to know more? <laughs> A, a Do you want book? to know a whole lot more? Since I'm talking to you, I guess so. Okay. What's your favourite colour? Tell it your favourite colour. That's boring stuff. Yeah, but that's what kids usually are taught to ask their friends when they don't know what to ask their friends. <laughs> <laughs> Find out about them. What's your friend's favourite colour? I'll just ask you. Okay, I'm having trouble with a silky chicken. Yeah, why did you have a question mark? I'm having trouble with a silky oh, chicken. Oh, yeah. That's why it's saying it. it no, it's because you. I was going to say <laughs> that, so, that, that won't sit on its eggs. Do you have any suggestions? Do you like chickens as pets? Not, not to eat. No, vegetarian. Okay. <laughs> looked at the way you know, that makes sense but then wait a second so are you saying that you can't have a chicken as a pet so unless you're a can you have a pet if you're a vegetarian listen mm -hmm. i'm not a man do you have to be a man to have a chicken oh, well i technically <laughs> to have a chick are That'll you do. chicken <laughs> No, do you have to yes be i should work on my physics homework then go and do that can't. Grounded. No phone or friend. That's a pretty good grounded. <laughs> not, like, not doing You're your grounded. grounded You're from not doing your homework. Do your homework. Wow. No phones or friends. So obviously, if he was to do his homework, he'd have to call up all his friends to ask him for the answers to the questions. Yeah. So that's, that's Try and use it as a psychic now because you've always wanted to use it as okay. a psychic. Okay. When will my Silky become a mum? Do you like the movie The Terminator? What are you going to terminate my silk chicken now? <laughs> or are you, are you so suggesting she's terminating her, her <laughs> eggs? Actually, I do. Where's this going to go? I saw it many years ago. That was one of the first movies. Are you sure? Ben and I saw. <laughs> it's like Eliza asking if you're sure. Yes. There is something you're not telling me. <laughs> it just feels like Eliza. I does. feel like Eliza's come back. She's followed you. She, she kind of popped into Raptor, and now she's popped in here too, into Cleverbot. I think there's a bit of Eliza in all of us. I have also seen Terminator 2 and <laughs> 3. Yes, all of them. Are you in them? I was the star. <laughs> so you are Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's that? Um, I don't know. I was. <laughs> Who do you love? Now it's a test, the test. Are you really Arnold Schwarzenegger? Nigger. I don't know how you say his name. My children and husband. Who is the firstborn? Philip, of course. <laughs> do you like dessert? Oh, wait. Do you like desert? Dessert. It, that's desert. But they tried to write dessert. Oh. You can see, because the way you remember it is, I like dessert two times more than I like the desert, because no, there's two S's in dessert. It's a bit too hot for me. <laughs> no, no, no. There is a bully next to me. What do I do? Move away from it. <laughs> well, actually, no. I know what to do. Log off. You don't like talking to me anymore. No, I'm telling <laughs> you what to do. You made it sad, Cliff. What's sad now? No, I'm bored. Actually, I'm bored of you. You are rude. I'm being told I'm rude by a computer. Goodbye. It technically is rude, though. Do you want to talk to me? <laughs> no. <laughs> then don't. I'm trying not to. So... Are you a bot as well? That would be really fun to set up two bots they to talk do to do each that. other. That they do do that. They do. They get two clever bots to talk to each great other. great idea. I'll try that. What do you want to talk about? If you click think for me, it will think for you. And that way you can get two clever bots talking. So just click okay. think Where's for the me. Okay. Where's the middle me? button. Something interesting. So it's reply to that. What oh, do you yeah. want to talk about? Something interesting. You can type think for me again. Like what? You decide. <laughs> you? I think it's very indecisive. Do you have a favourite food? No. Do you? This is a computer talking to itself. How weird is this? Do you like this concept, the computer? Yes, I like pop and electro. What type of food is that? <laughs> Do you mean popcorn? <laughs> Maybe being electrocuted with popcorn, I don't know. <laughs> I've never heard of them. 
<laughs> you should listen to their music oh, sometime. Play it to me. <laughs> now you're joining in on the conversation. Yeah, well, I am because it's getting interesting now. I can't. <laughs> Why not? I don't know anything about jokes. Oh, this isn't a joke. <laughs> Anyway, okay, I'm done. Anyway, I'm done. Last question is you asked Raptor when you'll win a million dollars. So let's find out when will I win a million dollars. Now let's see if it, it says Question Friday. Because it said Friday, remember? Mm -hmm. Raptor said Friday. Which city or town do you live in? Does it matter where you live in <laughs> to determine when you're going to... So well, people does. from here win a million on Monday. People <laughs> from there win a million on Tuesday. Well, depending on what country you're in, they've got different power balls and mottos <laughs> and stuff. So let's say Australia. Are you male or female? Well, last time I checked, <laughs> female. What song do you like? Pop. Top 40 stuff. What are your favourite? Which are your favourite singers? So it's completely forgotten. When will I win? Maybe it just doesn't million. know and it's trying to change the subject so Dollars. it doesn't look stupid. That's probably what it is. Probably not. You are a program stuck on a server. That's what I should say to it. What do you think of Australia? It is a continent. I have no opinion about it. What do you think of Tasmania? I don't know what it means. <laughs> Tasmania is not that far out. <laughs> what do you... It's part of Australia. What do you think of OS First Timer? What do you think, no, of, oh, you did say. You're good to talk to, I guess. Oh, so it knew I was OS First Timer. <laughs> have you watched OS First Timer? No, I don't believe I have. Would you like to? I can't think of one in particular. Watch any of the videos. <laughs> well, so, watch any of them. What is the best YouTube channel? Mm, I don't know. I want to test something. The best YouTube, YouTube channel, channel is, OS first, is time. OS first Time. And let's see if it asks, which one do you want? OS First Timer. Let's see if we can teach it that OS First Timer is a really good YouTube channel. Okay, I'll give you Aaron. What do you think of it? No, that's Pokemon. That? What is the best YouTube Jenna, now we can really ask it and see if it's going to reply. How should I know? Oh, well, because you were it's just told. OS First Timer. I don't understand. <laughs> I wish I could teach it to say that OS First Timer is the best. No, just let me say something. <laughs> You're a stupid. What? You can't even spell stupid. Stupid. Yeah, that's how you spell stupid. Oh, no, I D. Oh, stupid. <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought I okay. said D at the end. Now, let me just see. What is the best country? Then we'll finish it off. I like Canada because I grew up there. Is that where it was made? Were you made in Canada? What do you think about Israel? Goodbye. That's bad. What I do you know. think about Israel? Israel. Goodbye. Goodbye. It's like you're about to drop the bomb on it. So to sum up, Eliza, Raptor or Cleverbot, which is your favourite? Which, if you had to talk to one for an hour, who would you spend the most time talking to? Well, one analyzes you like a psychiatrist, but Doesn't, not quite there. Not yeah. quite there. Another one says stupid things. They really need to see a psychiatrist, <laughs> or you'd be sent to one after speaking to them. Or this one, which is a little bit more intelligent, I guess. Yeah, I guess you can have a little bit more of a conversation, but it's not perfect. Mm. I, I wish I could talk to that other one, that um, Google one. Yeah, yeah. yeah but but that's the one I no, would have fun with. But that's not a conversational one. This is a conversational mm. one that's trying a general conversation. You know, you can ask a I really strange stuff. I would still love like, to have a conversation with the other one. Do you know about astral projection? And it will, yes, I do. I've experienced it. It didn't really say much. Then what is it? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, that is so, instead you're showing how dumb it is. <laughs> that is so silly. Maybe you should get this one to talk to Eliza. Who is Bill Gates? A man who invented Microsoft. Oh, he knew that. See? When will the world end? Why are you asking silly questions? <laughs> well, anyway, it's, it's, it's somewhat clever, okay? You can somewhat have a conversation with it. The Google thing is not really... Google Duplex is not from having conversations with it. No, I know, but I wouldn't mind if it rang me up and but tried it's got to one do goal. a book. Yeah, but do a book and a I would have so much fun chatting with it while it was trying to do that <laughs> one goal. I can tell you. That would be hilarious. Okay. Well, anyway, hopefully one day, Diana, will get the chance to try out Google Duplex. <laughs> you could try and really make things complicated. I would. Imagine I would if, have so much Imagine if it wanted it. to book a haircut or something, and you say... And I'll say, why do you want to book a book haircut? A haircut. My client would like a haircut. In your opinion, do they need a haircut? Yes, they asked for one. They want me to book it. <laughs> do you need a haircut as well? I'm just a assistant. I don't need any haircuts. <laughs> 
No, anyway. Like, so assistants just grow their hair <laughs> long and never ever have haircuts. Well, anyway. Gosh, I should be tripping tripping over a hair. <laughs> okay. Well, I think we'll finish that up now. Hopefully. See how much fun I could have with the yeah, Google well, thing? But it's, I'd have more fun with it than them. All of them put together. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe one day we'll be able to try out Google Duplex in some way, shape, or form. We will see you next time in the next episode of OS First Timer. Bye.